Okay, today we are making biochar. First thing you will need, a bag of charcoal. Natural charcoal. Natural charcoal. Okay, we're gonna need to break up this charcoal into small pieces. Pretty much. And what we're gonna do to do that is to run it over with James' car. <laughs> Yep, that sounds good. Okay, now we've ran over the bag of charcoal a couple of times. By the way, you can use a sledgehammer if you have one, but we didn't, so we ran it over with the car. Not doing the potato. Okay, the you need some type of drum or reservoir, and now we're gonna put the charcoal inside of that drum. That's if you want to format it. So basically we want to submerge the charcoal. I actually should probably want to crush it a little better. Alright, now we just want to break up the uh, charcoal a little bit. The bigger chunks. The bigger chunks. You want to make... You want it to be kind of like a gravel. Yeah. So this is the, the liquid that came out of our worm bin on the bottom and we're adding it because it has lots of nutrients which we want to go into the... Yes. What are those? And we're just screening it because there's a lot of... Um, worms? Not worms. What are those? Maggots. Yeah, some type of maggot. And you went to throw it away? Yeah. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay, so this EB stone has a... Uh, We've got blood meal, feather meal, bone meal, chicken manure, back guano, alfalfa meal, kelp meal, and potassium sulfate. So the idea is basically everything will go into the charcoal now. Yeah, and so okay. we're going to saturate the charcoal with, with the these nutrients. nutrients. Okay. And then once we put it into the soil, the charcoal will release those nutrients to our plants. Okay. What's the purpose of the biochar? Don't record me, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me What's the purpose of the biochar? Okay, so we're, the biochar, what we're doing is that uh, the charcoal is, a, is like a, you know, basically a carbonous material and if we were to put it into the soil directly, what would happen is that it would soak up nutrients that are already existing in the soil. So what we're doing with this is that we're fermenting the, the charcoal with nutrients, all, like with nutrients before we put it into the soil. Hmm. So we've added a uh, we've added the the EB stone box of fertilizer, and we've added the uh, liquid that's come out of our worm worm composting bin. So you can put any nutrient in there you wanted, really, James. Yeah, pretty much. But and you can use like solids, like manure, but like your end product's gonna have manure in it. You can. Yeah. So you want to put like okay. You can use anything. anything. You don't even have to use water and liquid. You can use compost or you can just bury it in casting. You can bury it in soil. Okay. It's just any way to activate it to crack. Okay. All right. So now it's in its permanent spot. We're going to be leaving here for how long? Uh, two, two weeks, three weeks. Two to three weeks? Yeah, two to three weeks. Next step? After that, um, we uh, empty out the, the liquid and usually you kind of want to screen it and then you can collect the liquid and it's going to be high in nutrients so you can dilute that and feed it to your garden but once you uh, strain it the charcoal is pretty much activated it's going to look like normal charcoal but it's it's activated with, with a whole bunch of nutrients cool. and it's just a great home for uh, nutrient cycles. Now filling this with water uh, while mixing it So in the end, you're not going to use the liquid, yeah, or so you can use the liquid. We, you can use the liquid. The main thing we're looking for here is the char. Um, so we're gonna, when this is done, we're basically going to dump it out onto a screen so that we can collect all the char on the top. And um, what do you do with the char then? And then the char we're going to mix into mix into our soil. Um, we're going to have another bucket that we're going to plant potatoes in. So we're going to mix it into that bucket. So it's kind of like a soil amendment then. Okay. It was like every other day, come in here and just, you know, 
give it a good mix. Give it a mix. When it ferments, what you will see is uh, bubbles on the top. Just letting you know it's alive. See right now we're just getting liquid. Yeah. Once it ferments, we touch it once, it'll all start bubbling. Just letting you know. Stuff's... So we only we only filled it enough to submerge it. We didn't fill it all the way. If we added more charcoal. Yeah, added... We'd fill it up all the way. And just mix it every every few yeah, days or so, yeah, and then you you'll notice it starts bubbling when it's fermenting, right? Yeah, exactly. Now we're covering it with a burlap bag or any other uh, meshed screen. screen or material, basically to keep the insects away. Flies, mosquitoes. Flies, mosquitoes, and that, that way the air gets in, right, for fermentation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and we're just gonna leave that little stick on top. That way we can remove it easily and uh, mix it around. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Then they have some. Okay, that's how you make biochar. We're gonna let that sit for what? Two to three weeks. Yeah. Okay.